So if you go back 25 years, maybe even 30, we're looking for alternative water supplies. The whole concept of reusing water or water reuse was pretty new back then. We began to take a look at the resource, really truly the resource that we had in the Trinity River because it's so dominated down here by wastewater. So as you look at that water, that's a dependable supply because we're always gonna have wastewater coming in from Dallas and Fort Worth into the river here. We began to look at concepts of how do we treat that water before we put it into the reservoir. Trinity River has high sediment loads, which would fill in our reservoir storage capacity, as well as lots of nutrients, specifically phosphorus and nitrogen, that come from the wastewater plants in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If we were to pump Trinity River water straight into the reservoir, we would degrade the overall quality. And so we began to look at options. We looked at chemical treatment, several different things, but. The thing that we landed on was the concept of using the natural processes of wetlands, the plants, and the soil to do that cleanup work for us so that we're not having negative impacts to Richland Chambers, to the reservoir where we're, we're delivering their water. So this water was pulled from the Trinity River. This water is from our relief station before entering Richland Chambers Reservoir. Trinity River water is high in sediment and nutrients, and through the wetland process, we're able to remove approximately 85% of the sediment, 60% of the nutrients before pumping it into the reservoir. We are able to do this without the use of chemicals, and we're able to treat the water to as good or better quality than the receiving tributaries in Richland Chambers Reservoir. One of the truly unique components of this project is the dependability of this water supply. So it's really a big circle, if you think about it. We capture the water in the reservoirs and we pump it up to our customers in the Tarrant County area. They take it, they use it, and then it's cleaned up and put back into the river through wastewater treatment plants. And then it makes its journey back down here, 70 or 80 miles downstream. As long as we're pumping water up, water is going to be flowing back down after it's treated in the form of wastewater. Very dependable supply. We manage the wetland system for not only water supply, but for wildlife. By having a lot of diversity in our plant communities, the system is very resilient in times of drought and times of flood and provides valuable food source, valuable habitat for the wildlife. The habitat benefits alone of this project are incredible. It provides an ecosystem in this region that is unique. We have 2,000 acres of wetlands available for the public to come out and enjoy. They can bird watch, they can hunt, they can hike, they can ride their bikes around the project. Not only is it a recreational opportunity, it's also a water supply project for the district, so it's a win-win for everybody. The unique thing about constructed wetlands are they can be built on a small footprint in a very short duration. Permitting and construction can be done in less than five years, and once the project is completed, they're ready to operate and deliver water to the reservoir. When we consider new water supply projects, one of the things we have to look at is cost. This project delivers water for easily less than half the price of what a reservoir would have cost us to construct. It's been a really interesting period of years to watch this thing go from something that I didn't put a lot of faith in to 
something that delivers at times 20% of our entire volume for our customers.